What's up, guys? My name is Everett. I'm the Paleo Fat Kid. Uh, oh, I guess I am the Paleo Fat Kid. And I'm going to sh- go ahead and start uh, this podcast. I think we'll wait a few minutes to see if we get some more people to jump on. Um, we're going to go over how to make, like, flawless, I don't know, I call them, like, angel scrambled eggs because they're so good. They're so easy. we got Livermore in the house. Nice. Pretty close. I know. It's only a 15, 20-minute drive or something like that. Um, Livermore's awesome. You guys got those outlets. You got lots of wine. Oh, we got the Sacramento too. Good, good. Have you guys? I mean, it's, does everyone have like everyone thinks scrambled eggs are easy, right? Everyone's like, oh, pretty easy. Mississippi. I've been there. What well, part of Mississippi? Been there a few times. Um, I actually, I learned. My little brother's a chef, and he showed me how to how he makes his uh, scrambled eggs. And I tried them, and I was like, dude. I've been doing this wrong my whole life, and I feel like there's not much to the scrambled egg. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and kind of, I might have to put the phone down from time to time to kind of like just show you this view, rather than uh, Horn Lake, 20 minutes from Memphis. Okay, I haven't been to that side. I haven't been to north. I've only been to like Biloxi and the south part of uh, Mississippi Valley State. I used to play football out there, so we played Jackson, Mississippi Valley State. Some other schools, um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some flawless scrambled eggs with a pan with cold a cold pan, so there's no heat on it. You want your eggs in there. I eat five eggs. You might only eat two or three, and you want to start out in like a saucepan or a pot, not like your typical what I just cooked my bacon in kind of pot. So the first thing you do, you have that set up. I'm gonna put, go ahead and kind of rest this right. Here, for, oh, let me get my hand out of the way. We're gonna rest. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going to my seal. If I do this like that, I can kind of see the questions and I can kind of cook. I'm gonna put the ghee in the middle. Today we are using a, what is this? A 10 Star Foods. I won a competition uh, on their Instagram, which is kind of cool. And they sent me two uh, jars of their brown, what is it, brown butter, over here. brown butter uh, grass-fed ghee, and they're uh, just a regular grass-fed ghee. That's, what's that you added? Oh, ghee. So you can use butter. I use um, Kerrygold grass-fed butter if I'm going to do that. The best ghee, I don't know. I mean, OM ghee has, has my heart right now, but I haven't tried theirs yet. So today is the first one. So here's the other one that I love, is Owen Gee's butter. Um, and I, I'm sure it's great, I just, whatever. You guys want to say hi to Spank, you okay? Spank, can you say hi? No? You don't want to say hi? You want to kiss the phone? Yeah, I know. Okay, so that's my pup. I just <laughs> I just woke up and saw your Instagram. Good. Um, I do have to plug in my phone, it's kind of embarrassing. This Periscope drains my battery. And I didn't realize I was on so low this morning. So, quick facial on. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. Um, so go ahead and you start like this. Can you guys see? Opposite. Never mind. Yeah. You're gonna start like this. So it's just eggs and ghee in the pan. Nothing else. Don't put water. Don't put milk. Don't put you know heavy whipping cream or whatever else you put. Don't put salt and pepper. Don't put anything in there. Okay. I'm gonna flip it around and kind of watch what I'm cooking at the same time. So I'm. A periscope, not the easiest thing to do. You're going to start out with a wood spatula or any kind of spoon. I guess it's a wood spoon. Understand the way you feel about your favorite gear. I feel about 10 star. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm super excited. This is the first time, obviously, it's just open. I took one, like, spoonful out. And then the brown butter, I haven't even started. I was going to reach out to my friends out at uh, 10 star and see what the difference between brown butter and regular ghee is. Or brown, brown butter ghee. I don't know. I'm still learning, so don't judge me. Stick your fingers in it? That sounds so bad. Um, all right, we'll do it for you. Just for you guys. I will even, and then, mmm, that's bomb though. Okay, well, OMG is, maybe has some competition now. Okay, again, so I don't want to take this too long. We're going to go ahead and start my awesome stove that I'm trying to replace. If anybody wants to, you know, I don't know, go fund me and send me and figure out how I can get an awesome stove. 
Uh, it is my goal to have a big, awesome kitchen one day, so it's kind of working. So anyways, you start your heat, put it on like medium, like three quarters, I guess, high. And you're just going to start mixing this stuff in. All right, you're going to break it up, break it up. And it really doesn't take that long, but you just want to kind of stir, 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 mix everything up. And it's kind of like you're scrambling them, but it's different. It's not like they're completely whisked together, and you're going to let that go. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit more. And we're just going to get all this goodness mixed together. And let the eggs do what they do. So I'm going to back it up a little bit. I know this is not the best process, but I didn't know. There's no way I could have uh, halfway started the eggs without seeing exactly how I do it. Once you get your eggs kind of broken up, you are going to switch to a spatula. So you're like right here, that looks good. You can see it's already starting to cook on the outside, so I'm going to reduce it back down to like a medium again. And then I'm going to take my spatula, and you never want to stop never want to stop stirring right now so you're going to keep on stirring scrape the sides making sure you get every part there's not going to be any brown part nothing's going to be touched but i'll show you the key here in a minute so it's not just adding eggs and ghee uh oh the girl with the butter zone in the house you should check she should have her own ghee too Kristen, can you start making some ghee or maybe work, get some work have a partnership yeah, see? Ten star. Can you make like a just one jar, a specialty jar for, for Kristen? Her name's Girl with the, of the Butter. Anyways, so you're going back to this. You're going to stir, 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 stir. As soon as it starts to cook, so it's starting to look like it's starting to thicken up, this is where I've tried and it's not as good. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, you want some Greek for Christmas? You know what? Maybe I'll do a giveaway and I'll give some ghee away. I'll have to talk to my friends and see what's going on. Um, but anyways, you keep stirring. I'm going to turn it back up a little bit. So you can kind of keep it on almost high. And you're just going to keep stirring, guys. Keep stirring. As soon as it starts getting like a creamy, it's already going to, I mean, I can already tell. This is not, I'm going to turn a little bit down a little bit. So now it's starting to thick it up. Right now, you want to take it off the heat. I'm going to move my bacon grease. And obviously, you wouldn't stop stirring. But keep stirring that and like keep it going. Keep it off the sides. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Don't let it stick to the bottom like I am. Obviously, I would use two hand or two hands while I'm doing this, but you just want to keep stirring. And it's almost turning to like a creamy, cheesy kind of eggs. And that's how you know you kind of go in the right direction. So keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. And then it's gonna cool down over here. And it look, I mean, already to me it looks it's so it's it's looking good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So from right here, you let them cook, cook, cook. Just go ahead. The pan's still hot. It's, they're still going to cook. Make sure you get all the sides off. It's a lot easier with two hands, I promise. That's going to, yeah, for sure, yeah. I know. So, and ha, how many have you guys started listening to our podcast? Me and uh, Kristen from Girl with the Butter started a podcast, and we are making some, it's pretty, it's lots of fun, lots of humor, lots of information. So, if you guys have any questions, make sure you reach out to me and Kristen. Um, you can do it on Instagram. Or on email, Facebook, I don't care how you do it. Um, so now it's starting to look at, if you look at it now, it's super kind of creamy. We're going to go ahead and put it back on the heat. And we're going to do it some more. I mean, this is the greatest podcast ever. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, it's like hard to read and see who's sending stuff at the same time. Love the hearts. So now that it's even starting to thicken up a little more, you're going to put it on here for about another 30 seconds. Now, if you don't have anything else, if you don't have anything else you want to add to this, then you don't have to. And clearly, I'm going to add, well, not clearly, but I'm going to add some other stuff. But you want it to look like right here, where if you can see this, it's kind of thick, but it's kind of creamy at the same time. You're going to take it off the heat again. You're going to stir. Don't stop stirring. Don't stop stirring. Get, don't let it stick to the sides. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. And it's already almost done. Now, you can see how it's like awesomely like just I don't know it's like cheesy and that she's not paleo well I don't know I'm, I'm kind of that's a good question so I think mine is like almost done so once it's almost done like right now I'm throwing in bacon a sweet potato snuck in there and I'm throwing parsley and I'm throwing in I have my little jars over here I'm throwing salt and a little bit of pepper and then I'm gonna stir this back up I'm gonna take my sweet potato that's snuck in there out 
and then stir this up some more and then just kind of get oh sorry guys are you a trained chef or I can't remember no my little brother's a chef so I steal everything from him but I make things paleo so then we have this done these are done um, let me take that off if I was a trained chef, I'd have three arms and I can make awesome periscopes. That would be the best thing. So if you kind of look at them now, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but they're super like fluffy. They're almost creamy in a sense. And then I don't know how I'm going to do this. So what I was going to try to do, here's my camera, everyone, that I take my, I started taking photos with. I've never taken photos with them. Wear the phone like a necklace. Yeah, I know. We need to get one of those things, but now my battery's dead. I'm just having my Sunday morning struggles. Uh, we did a lot of photo shoots yesterday. I did a photo shoot for a, and I burned my cord. Look at this. It went over the, the stove as I was doing. <laughs> awesome. I don't even know if my iPhone's charging. But anyways, I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to make this little mountain thing. And I'm going to photograph it later. But look how like creamy and like well put together. They're not brown. They're not overcooked. Let me get a little closer. I'm going to put another one on. We're like making like this, uh, I don't even know what we're going to call it. We have to come, you guys got any names? But that, that I'm putting on here is fried sweet potato. I fr cooked it in the bacon grease after I made the bacon bits. Yeah, I know. This is going to be good. But look how creamy, I wish you guys could taste it. If you guys could taste this, it's like, they're like heaven. I mean, I swear it's, I don't know. C can you tell? Not really. They're so fluffy and they're so like on, I, I don't know. If I had to eat, if I died and went to heaven and they said, this is what scrambled eggs are supposed to taste like, I can imagine that. So I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do one more on top of this. This is the fat kid in me. We're making this big, I don't even know. It's a cut custard practically. Yeah, exactly. Very, very true. That is a good way to put it. They're not even scrambled eggs, they're custard, <laughs> but very similar like that. Um, I'm going to call this because we're praying for Paris. And if you guys don't know what's going on, that's pretty sad what's going on. I'm a huge fan of Paris, um, huge fan of France in general. They have so much good food. If you look at my wall over there, I took that picture when I was there three summers ago um, of the Eiffel Tower, and uh, that was a sunset. I didn't do any editing, and I was just like, and it was one of my favorite parts of Paris, was sitting underneath the Eiffel Tower, and ever since then, I fell in love with Paris, so, enough of that, um, I mean, never enough, but let me get back to what I was here, but here's like my mountain, my leaning tower of Pisa, whatever, smoked salmon instead of bacon, I would agree with that, um, 100%, way to, way to make me look bad, but here we have, here's my view in the background, but, um, that is awesome. We're going to throw some garnish on top and make it... Should I put a top on it or no? Or should we just leave it? I might just put some of this. Ha, ah, that looks so good. Just throw this down. I'm going to go photograph it. Nothing, <laughs> nothing is better than bacon. Salmon and bacon. You're an awesome photographer. I met you actually. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, that's right. Whole food in... Okay, got you. I got you. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know. It's so hard to see the names. Like, you can read the comments, but the names are so small. And I feel like I have good eyes. Um, let's see. <coughs> I'm getting over a sickness, so. <coughs> Excuse me. No, no top needed. <coughs> I'm going to throw a little bit of salt on top, too. There you go. And then, uh, what else do I need? I think that's probably it. Baby Jesus, that looks fantastic. Um, Reno, I'll be up there next weekend for my birthday. I turn old next weekend, so I'm not really excited about that. But, uh, that is my little perfection. I, you know, the hard part about doing food photography is I want to eat it. So, what I'm just to make sure my food tastes as good as it looks. I take, um, like the leftover piece that snuck in to my thing. Right, we have this, the little piece. I don't know, I can't open it down. You guys are making this real hard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scoop what I got. Like that. Looks amazing. Lovely. 
Mmm. Please, you guys, just try this. Let me know. Shoot me, a, tag me in a photo on Instagram. But try the scrambled eggs. I swear, if they're not the best scrambled eggs you ever had, don't eat any more scrambled eggs. If you like them super hard, send me leftovers. For sure. Might be an empty box, but... The other thing is I don't get, as you guys know, this is five eggs. And it doesn't look like five eggs. And that may look like huge to you, like on, on in, I guess, on the phone. But ultimately, this is a normal size plate, and that's a sweet potato, so it's not that big. But it does look amazing. So I appreciate everyone kind of asking, hanging out. Um, if you guys, I'm, this will be on. Will be on my. Uh, YouTube channel I just created, so if you want to go check those out, no, it really doesn't look like I know. Um, if you want to check it out on YouTube, it'll be on there. It's easy, you can rewind. If I miss anything, if you have any questions, it is pretty basic. It is eggs in a cold pan with the mix, 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 mix. Use your spatula, take it off the heat. That's the biggest kind of key is take it off the heat once it starts to look like it's cooking, remove it, let it cool down, stir, stir, stir. Basic. Not a basic bitch, just a basic. Thank you. You want to take a bite? Can you say goodbye? Can you speak? Watch this, I have one more trick before I go. Spanky catches food like no other, especially bacon. I'm gonna give him a sweet potato though. All right, you guys ready? Spanky, can you speak? Say goodbye. Bye. Say bye. Okay, I gotta just watch this. Sit, stay, stay. Yes, winning. He's a champ. My boy. This is what a cow sunny. Well, the rain's kind of gone. I know, right? This is my outdoor kitchen that I'm about to remodel. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Um, pizza oven. It's going to be huge. Um, I'm not remodeling. I take that back. I'm putting it overhead and then putting in some other kitchen stuff so I can actually cook outside in the winter. So that'll be fun. But other than that, paleo fat kid, if you guys have any questions, uh, Shoot me an email, text, uh, follow me on Instagram, um, check out our podcast, it's pretty awesome, and um, yeah, I'll post the picture in a minute on Instagram, so check it out. Alright, thanks guys.